Hello everyone and welcome to this edition of Race Face Driver Updates. I'm Brittany Lung. Let's get started with our Race Face Drivers. Sheldon Creed was playing in the dirt at Eldora Speedway on Thursday night in the NASCAR Gander Outdoor Truck Series. Sheldon started first in the fifth qualifying race of the night and finished second in that event, earning him a starting position of 10th in the feature race. The number two team elected to pit during the first stage break for four tires, fuel, and adjustments, positioning Sheldon mid-pack for the restart, but he battled back into the top 10. Before the completion of stage two, Sheldon spun and was mired back in the pack on the restart. During the final stage, he drove from 20th to ultimately finishing second, the best finish of the year. Sheldon will be at Michigan International Speedway this weekend for the regular season finale with only one goal, win to get in the playoffs. We're pulling for you, Sheldon. Sam Mayer was at Watkins Glen International for the NASCAR k and Pro Series Road Race on Friday. Sam started ninth and ran in the top 10 most of the race. As the race started to get closer to the end, he drove to the front but got moved by another car putting him in seventh for a late race restart. Then it was game on. He quickly moved into third and was reeling in the leaders when lightning in the area caused NASCAR to put the race on delay with six laps remaining. There was an attempt to restart the race, but rain kept that from happening and the race was called. Sam was credited with a third place finish. He remained in the points lead heading to Bristol Motor Speedway on August 15th and will attempt to repeat his win in the spring race. Sam will also make his truck debut in the NASCAR Gander Outdoor Truck Series race on the same day. That should be a full day of racing for the young 15-year-old driver. Jesse Love was racing the Power Eye National Midget Series Ironman Weekend at I-55 Raceway in Peavley, Missouri. On night one, Jesse won the Auto Meter Heat Race, earning him a seventh place starting position in the feature race, where he finished 10th. On night two at Peavley, Jesse finished fifth in the heat race and had another top 10 finishing ninth in the feature. Now you would think that would be a full weekend of racing, but not for Jesse, who made the journey from Peavley, Missouri to Jacksonville Speedway in Illinois to race on Sunday. Jesse ran second in the heat race and raced to a podium, finish of second in the feature. Up next for Jesse, back in the late model in the SRL series at Stockton 99 Speedway on August 17th. Brian Henderson was at Road America with his Atlanta Speedworks team for the Road America 120 Michelin Pilot Challenge two hour race. Brian qualified eighth and drove to the front challenging for the lead in just a few laps. With thunderstorms in the area, the race was shortened to one hour and 15 minutes and that changed their entire race strategy. The team found themselves on slick tires when they really needed wet tires, but they were still able to finish fifth. After the race, Brian said, overall, we are happy with our results due to the circumstances, but this is one we wanted to win. Up next for Brian is the Virginia International Raceway on August 24th. Minnie Tyrell and Adam Lemke were both racing in the third annual Cars Throwback 276 at Hickory Motor Speedway on Saturday night. The event had over 36 late models competing for 28 starting positions for the most anticipated race of the year in front of a packed house. Adam Lemke qualified 22nd in his number 98 Junior Motorsports Chevrolet. The team started the race with a loop setup, hoping the track would tighten up, but that didn't happen. The race only saw two cautions, both were competition cautions, and just couldn't get the car dialed in, resulting in a 12th place finish. Mini Tyrell, sporting his number 24 Jeff Gordon throwback paint scheme, qualified 17th but had a shock break with only 19 laps to go, ending his night early and being scored with a 24th place finish. A special shout out to Mini and his team as they were in the running for best car and best throwback crew. Up next for both Adam Lemke and Minnie Tyrell is Orange County Speedway on August 24th in Rougemont, North Carolina. Now let's move on to our Race Face Next drivers. We get started by updating you on last week's Bojangle Summer Shootout Finale at Charlotte Motor Speedway, where Jake Bowman had his best performance at the shootout. He qualified seventh and moved into third place on lap five. On lap 10, 
Jake was passing a lapped car when the car behind him hit him in the rear and spun him out. Both cars were sent to the rear. Jake restarted 23rd and over the next 15 laps, drove to a second place finish. Jake will be back in the 5150 Junior Late Model on August 24th at Madeira Speedway. William Cox had an impressive night as well, starting with a 10th place qualifying effort in the 27 car field. William led most of the race and on the last lap going into turn one was spun out and cost him the win. That's a tough one to take, but William will be back next year and he will be on a mission. Cassidy Hines was making her pro truck debut at Colorado National Speedway in Erie, Colorado, where she qualified 11th and finished 9th in the feature race. After the race, Cassidy had this to say about her debut. It was a little overwhelming at first, and we had some bumps we had to get over, but we managed to make it through with no serious events happening, and everything is in one piece. We all learned a lot yesterday, and I'm excited for my next truck race on August 24th. Kobe Sokol and Justice Sokol put the wings back on their 600 micro sprints for the weekend and headed to I-76 Speedway in Fort Morgan, Colorado, where Justice Sokol, better known as Lawman, finished fifth in his heat race that earned him 10th place starting position in the feature. He was the only restricted car in the 17 car field where he ended up with a 12th place finish. Colby, also known as Smoke, had a great heat race where he finished second in his heat. Then he started seventh in the feature and brought home a fifth place finish, even though his right hand is still in a cast. Up next for the Red Army, August 10th at Airport Raceway in Garden City, Kansas. Race face drivers who didn't compete last week but will see action this week include Anthony Alfredo, who will be at Michigan International Speedway in the NASCAR Gander Outdoor Truck Series on Saturday, Connor Mosack, will be back in action in the NASCAR Wheel and All-American Series at Hickory Motor Speedway, and Joe Valento will return to the Midwest Truck Series at State Park Speedway in Wausau, I hope I said that right, Wisconsin on Thursday. Race Face Next driver Grant Thompson will be at Mobile International Speedway in his pro truck on Saturday. That's it for this week's Race Face Driver Updates. And remember, if you've missed any of our shows, you can get caught up at raceface.tv on demand. Don't miss Race Face Spotlight on Thursday at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. As always, we encourage you to support local racing. Don't forget to follow us on social media. We will be back right here next week with more from your favorite Race Face drivers. So go out there and have a great race week. I'm Brittany Lung. Thanks for watching.